So, an interesting question. Shane, I might start with you, but I'd like everybody's opinion. Um, I, I know, Shane, at the end of the Six Nations, we felt Ireland had maybe just tapered off a touch from the high of France away, weren't as good against Scotland and Dublin, and we wondered what would happen in South Africa. And you came away quite buoyed by South Africa and thought, this team is back in a very, very good place. And now we've had last Friday night. So, do you look at last night as it was so bad, it's just like a bad night at the office, let's not panic, they'll put things right. Or do you think we're in for a kind of a bit of a dip here, something more prolonged? I think there's some of the analysis around it is, is maybe because we've had it too good for too long. Mm -hmm. So we're not used to it. We're not used to Ireland losing, but we're certainly not used to a performance like that. It was, um, it was an outlier, it has to be said. It's as bad as we've seen them play under Farrell, from, with the exception maybe those very, very first opening series. Yes. Um, and what's interesting is, is it a, a blip is one game, you know, you have a, a second game, maybe it's an issue, and then a third game, all of a sudden you're a crisis, you know? <laughs> yeah. And that's how, you know, that's how quickly it can turn, how quickly a sport can turn. Um, I don't think we're, I think we're still very much in a blip. And uh, my expectation is that we'll see um, a, a hugely increased performance level. To be honest with you, you couldn't see, they couldn't do much worse than last week. Just that footage we showed is, is borderline embarrassing yeah. because it was Ireland's own mistakes. Mm. Now, the positive thing about that is there's a huge amount of them that can be reduced. You take them out and you're already at a, a, a much greater opportunity to perform better. Yeah, Matt, where are you on this one? Yeah, but I think Shane's nailed it there. But if, if you consider that um, when they... Ireland beat New Zealand in Chicago, they gave away four penalties. Last week, they gave away 13, 10 inside their own half. That tells you they weren't at the emotional pitch. They weren't, and uh, tactically, we were poor as well. So we've got to remember that. It wasn't just we weren't uh, up for the game or in the right mental state. Tactically, they got everything wrong. What we showed, uh, I think Robbie's one in particular, the kicking game was poor. We didn't play position. But... This is a very, very big night. This is a bigger night than, than it was going to be a week ago. If Because this is a very good Argentinian side. We've got to put this to everyone out there. Don't think this is just going to be a gimme. This is a very, very good Argentinian side with a lot of scalps under their belt for this year. And if Ireland don't turn up, they can lose this game. And if they do... They, the momentum that will be taken out of this team is huge. Selections will change. People will be dropped. Careers will be finished. So this is this is a very big game. Okay. Role, I think. So I, I have two. It's just a bad night at the offices. Uh, is there not a bit of a slide here in the performance from 23 and 22? <clears throat> no, I, I don't think it's fair to, to say there's a bit of a slide yet. Um, we're going to learn a huge yeah. amount tonight. Okay. Yes. We really are. Um, there's a lot of pressure on this team. There, there's a lot of pressure on them to perform tonight. Uh, as, the, as the lad said, last night couldn't have gone any worse. Last week's performance everything went wrong. Our mm. discipline was really poor. Our handling was poor. We got beaten in the air. Our attack shape was poor. Everything went wrong. Um, so, you know, y you would expect a big backlash. But we're playing against a very good team. No, it's true.